test. So these guys, you know, have just performed the test. They have all the apps open in the background. And let's go ahead and power these guys off. Turning them on in three, two, one. And they're off. So Samsung Galaxy S8 running Android 7.0 on the left and iOS 10.3.1 on the right. Very curious decision on Samsung's part to ship Android 7.0 and not 7.1.1 or something. Anyways, the iPhone is first to start up here, even with a passcode, considerably actually. So quite the difference there, although we only start up our phones maybe like once every few days, if even. Uh, so not that big of a deal, because he's a little faster, I think. Uh, maps, Galaxy, Photoshop Express, iPhone. This one has like a little bit of an interesting lag when opening, it hesitates for a second. Minecraft, especially when opening larger games and stuff. Oh, that one's actually faster. Nice. Mario Run. Hmm, this one seems to be loading a little faster here. And, oh, actually about the same time. Asphalt 8. Yep, so iPhone 1 here considerably. Seems like the larger the game is, the faster the iPhone loads it. It's Grand Theft Auto, and gotta click skip for the thing. So yeah, iPhone loads the main screen a little faster, but this one actually loads the actual game faster. Zynga.com, three, two, one. And actually almost the same there. Browser performance seems to be a little bit faster overall on the iPhone. Still pretty fair on both here. And uh, let's go ahead and get some real numbers here. So let's run through Geekbench. Results are in. Wow, multi-core beat the iPhone 7 Plus by numbers in Geekbench. Let's take a look at Antutu here on the Galaxy and the iPhone. And it looks like the Samsung Galaxy S8 actually outdid the iPhone 7 Plus. 163,734. Wow. So let's take a look at the detailed here. 3D score is higher on the Samsung Galaxy. It's so hard to perfectly locate uh, the groove on the back of the phone. I'm sure I'll get used to it the more I use the phone, but right now it's a little frustrating. So I'm going to try and get this right. One, two, three. Oh, this one has a shortened animation, so it seems to jump in a little bit faster here. One, two, three. Yeah, a little bit faster. Let's try screen on here. One, two, three. Oh, wow, that's definitely much faster with the screen on. So fingerprint sensor is pretty fast. And again, it was never slow to begin with on the S7. So very, very good stuff, super fast there. So guys, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is in some ways better than the iPhone. I can't really give you guys any real conclusions here other than to say that the iPhone still has the numbers when it comes to the CPU and in many areas, it seems not to reload applications as much as the Samsung Galaxy S8. So it's certainly a little bit more usable in day-to-day -day activities, but the Galaxy S8 kept up and even overtook the iPhone in certain areas. So I'm actually very impressed with it. Thanks for watching the speed test, guys.